Greetings everyone, this is P and welcome to the third part of our Call of Duty 4 single player tutorials. In this part, I'm gonna show you how to do objectives in your mission. Alright, here's our map. As you can see, I have uh, extended it a little bit and uh, retextured some surfaces. So, first thing we're gonna do is to create a small building in the center over here and uh, this is gonna be our target building where our objective will be So this is our target building. This is where our mission will occur. The first objective of the player will be to reach the target building. So once he is in this yard, this objective will be completed. In order to do that, we will create a trigger. Trigger multiple. I will put this trigger over here. And when... Let me just filter it back, alright. And when our player passes through this area then this objective will be completed I will explain how we do this in the script later next we will task the player to open this door I will create another trigger but this time it will be use touch not multiple but use touch and I will put it over here so once the player reaches the door the trigger of the door uh, we will make a message display on screen and tell the player to press the use key in order to open the door and then with script we will open the door and let the player walk inside now uh, after this the player will have to go upstairs uh, we will put some tables over here and some kind of documents on a table the next objective of the player will be to retrieve the documents to take the documents uh, same way as the door, we will create a trigger use touch let me put it over here and then once the player reaches the trigger a hint message will be displayed and it will instruct the player to press the use key in order to take the documents once this is done, the player will have to go to the extraction point which will be out here in the backyard and over here so what I have to do is to create a trigger multiple trigger multiple over here all over this uh, asphalt area and once the player hits this area then our mission will be completed simple as that alright so now we'll have to put some names in our triggers so we can uh, uh, use them in our script in order to do that, we will have to select our trigger and then press the N key. All we have to do is to add a key and a value to our trigger. The key must be target name and the value will be any name we want, any ID we want to give to the trigger. In this case, I will put trig1, like this. Now, this trigger will be our door trigger, so I will put the name of uh, door1 trig. We are not allowed to use spaces, by the way, in our target names. Okay, let's go to the upstairs trigger, which will be the document trigger, the one used from the player to grab the documents. And in this one I will put a name of trig2. Now, we need some documents over here. I will use a document model that will have to disappear when the player acquires it. To do that, we will have to put a script model instead of a world model. We will have to go to script, model, and find the model we want in the Call of Duty 4 model list. Over here. This will be our, our objective model. Alright, so let's add a target name to this model too. Target name. And let's do doc one docs one yes all right so once the player uh, uses this trigger to acquire the documents we will make the documents disappear 
We will do that later in our script. Now, next our player will have to go to the extraction point over here. Let's just name this to trig3. Alright, so let's take care of our door right now. Uh, in order to make the player being able to open the door, we will have to somehow make the door open. And this can be done by making this door a brush model. Brush models are simply brushes like all the rest world brushes with the difference that they can be uh, manipulated in script. We can do different things on them through script. So before I make this a brush model we will need to have an origin brush which will define the hinge, the rotation center of our door. To add a, an origin brush we'll have to go to textures, usage and tools. Origin brush is right here. Now I will put the origin brush over here and this will be uh, alongside our door as one brush model. This will act as one brush model. To do that we will have to have them both selected and then we'll have simply to right click in our 2D grid view and then script brush model and that's it. Now this door can be edited in the script but first we have to give it a target name same way we did with our triggers and I will simply name it door1 make sure to have them both selected when you give them keys alright that's all we need to do in the editor for now and let's just jump in our script alright so here is the script of our map as shown in the previous tutorials and what we need to do now is to copy some stuff from this code I have over here uh, these are some necessary things for our map we just keep them there for now now over here I have this code which is basically the mission I explained uh, previously in our map I will copy this code and now we will think where our objectives will take place in this case I will put the objectives right after our intro screen over here we can either make a new function for our objectives or just put it right after our intro screen now uh, as we can see this is the uh, intro screen info the mission info that will be displayed on screen as explained in the uh, previous uh, tutorial and when this is done pl the player will be free to move around and then our objectives will uh, take place. Now let's see what each and every one of those lines do. Alright, so the first line defines the first trigger, our first trigger. As you remember, we put target name trig1 to the first trigger of our uh, mission. And then we simply put a name over here, any name we want. I usually put the same uh, with the target name, the same name with the target name and then we are ready to use this trigger in our script the same thing happens in the next three lines which is trick 2, trick 3 and door 1 trick all the triggers we have in our mission as you can see we have the target names over here that we gave them in the editor okay so next we have this line which is basically responsible for the objective okay so let's see what this does this is basically a function that is called and it has some parameters in it the first parameter is the uh, objective order. We can set multiple objectives at the same time, but in different order in our objective list in game. This is the state of the objective. For now, let's just keep it active. We won't explain this furthermore. Next, we have the objective string, the localized string. Uh, this will be the text of the objective that will be displayed in the objective list which will basically explain what the player has to do in order to complete this objective and then we have the origin of the objective which is where the objective is located on the player's minimap alright now we'll have to put uh, proper text over here because this won't work as it is uh, as you remember from the previous tutorial we have the localized string file which has uh, various texts that we use in our map I'm going to open this file which is 
located in Call of Duty 4 Raw English, localized strings, and test video 1. That's all. This is our intro screen, as you remember from the previous tutorial. And now let's put some objective strings. Alright, let's see what we have in our uh, mission. We need one string for objective 1 and one for the second. Alright, so let me put some names over here. Alright, so uh, those two objectives will appear when the player will begin the mission. The first, the primary objective will be uh, to retrieve the documents, as explained before. And the second objective will be to reach the target building. Alright, let's go write that down now. First objective is uh, grab the documents and the second objective will be to reach the target building. Nice. That's all we need to have over here. Alright, so we are not ready yet over here because we will need the name of our map before the objective uh, reference name. I simply copy the name over here like this and we're done. Now, this line sets objective 2 as the current objective that the player has to accomplish. Now, over here this line is very important because it simply waits until the player has reached trigger 1 which means that when the player hits trigger 1, when the player um, has reached this area in our map over here, when player comes through this area this line will uh, stop waiting and it will let the script continue and do the rest over here. This is uh, the simplest way of using triggers in our missions, just waiting until the player goes through them. The next line updates the uh, second objective and uh, sets another uh, text for it, another objective, another task. And this will be to get in the target building. Which means that the player has to open the door and get inside. And in this case we will be simply to open the door. So, this next part basically makes the door open. I will explain it exactly what we do here. This line simply defines the door, as we explained above. The second line uh, is referring to the trigger. The trigger is already defined over here. This line sets a hint string for the trigger, so when the player comes close to this trigger, a text, a hint text will appear on the screen of the player, and it will instruct the player to press the use key in order to activate the trigger. Uh, this next line does exactly what this line does. But in this case, this trigger is trigger use touch, which means that the player will have to press the use key in order to activate the trigger. Uh, this trigger, trigger 1, is a trigger multiple, which means that the player simply has to go on this trigger in order to activate it. So, since we have the text displayed on the trigger, when the player activates the trigger, we want this text to disappear. So we simply uh, disable the trigger with this way by putting the trigger off right after the trigger. Next, we are going to rotate the door. The door will simply rotate itself 90 degrees uh, in 2 seconds and this is the acceleration and deacceleration of the rotate speed. And that's all of it. That's how to open a door in Call of Duty 4 basically. Oh, yes, we will have to put the text over here. Let's go to our localized strings file and make a new text. Let's call it trick. No, let me do it uh, door open. And I will simply type 
press F to open the door. Now, some users may not have F as the used key. Now, I will simply put this over here, which will basically display any used key that player have in his controls. And in order to make this be yellow and the rest be white, we simply have to do this. Alright, so our door text is ready. We will simply copy the name and put it over here. We must not forget the map name before it, of course. And this is basically how to open a door. Our next step, we will uh, set the secondary objective state as done, as completed. And we will set the primary objective as current, as the current objective that the player will have to accomplish. So, uh, next, once the player gets in here, his objectives are changed, and he will have to go over here and grab the documents. We have the trigger and the model over here, both ready to go. And now, once our player will reach the second trigger, we will have to put the text over here, same way we did with the door, but this time it will say press the use key to grab the documents. As simple as that. And I will change the name which will be uh, docs documents. I will copy it over here, the name of our map before our text our reference. And then the script will wait until the player presses the F key, the use key or whatever. And the trigger will be enabled, will be activated. Then we will turn off the trigger so the text is no longer uh, displayed. Then we will uh, define the documents, the document model with this line. And the documents will simply disappear, will simply be deleted once the player presses the use key on the trigger. Then the primary objective is changed to objective 1b and the location is also changed to the third trigger. The third trigger is over here which is the extraction point and this text will have to say get to the extraction point. Over here this is our text get to the ex extraction point as simple as that okay we'll have to put the name of our map before that again and here too did I forget anything else? Oh, I think I didn't, alright then the script will wait until the third trigger is uh, enabled from the player and then our objective will be over so we'll have to set our primary objective as done over here and then the level is completed and we can change to another level with this function by putting any level name over here like rooftops for example but in this case I will leave it blank which will simply get us back to the main menu alright let's see if all of this works right now since we did changes in our map you know, in the 3d part of our map we will have to recompile the BSP. It won't take too long. Alright. We will recompile reflections since we did major changes in our map. Alright. And then we will have to rebuild our fast file. So all those new changes will be applied in the map. Alright. Let's see what we did so far. Let's see if everything works. Alright, so here we are in our mission, everything seems to be working fine, and let's check our objectives, yes, they are both fine, primary objective grab the document, secondary objective reach target building, and our secondary objective is the, is the uh, current objective. Now, as we said before, if I get through this area, the secondary objective will be updated and will change to get in the target building. Let's see if that works. Alright, works all fine. Get in the target building. Now, let's see if our door works. 
Yes, the USG works as promised. And if we press F, the door will open and the secondary objective will be completed. Alright, everything works. Now we will go upstairs. And here are our documents. Same as the door. Grad, yes, I had to put grab the documents. Alright. Mistakes were made. Anyway. Now the first objective will be changed to get to the extraction point once I hit the F key and grab the documents. Alright, that works fine as well. Alright, let's go outside. There is supposed to be an oh, extraction point, and once we get to it, the mission will be over, and we will be back to our main menu as promised. Alright. Thanks for watching, I hope this tutorial was helpful and see you next time.